everybody, welcome back to a noisy Divinity Original Sin again, everybody's trying to talk at once. So, let's move on. Uh, end of last episode. We managed to thin the herd as far as the Orcs were concerned. The Starcross Lovers, the Back Alley Trader. I uh, think it's to be or not to be. Yes, well, that was the uh, skeleton at the well. Oh uh, yeah, we got uh, Grutilda to actually kill them for us, which was very nice of her. And um, we talked to the leader of the Mountain Men. He seems to think that Grutilda is the one that has stolen the bloodstones from him. And he wants us to prove it. But we won't do that yet, because that leads us down to the temple. And there is something we need from the wizard's house before we go down there. So, we will be heading to the wizard's house. I think. Wolgraf spotted something. Yeah, there we go. Wolgraf has spotted the uh, pool of blood. Now that is a, a trail of blood leading from the cellar, where the incident happened with the moonstones, all the way to the temple, which is down the bottom there. So we will bypass that for the moment, because, like I said, there is an item that I want from the wizard's house before we go down there. All right, where's that lead? Well, let's go this way. And let's use Wolgraf to lead the way since he's got the high perception. Wolgraf indicates a spot in the garden deserving your attention. You're reasonably certain he's not pointing out the pumpkins. All right, well, let us dig it up. Take that. Right, we'll take those. We can't identify them yet because Scarlet hasn't got her piece of equipment on the boost, is it? So we'll go to there. One handed, absolutely no use whatsoever. Hmm, that's going to be good for Wargraf. Let's send that to Midora, because his uh, weight is getting up there again. Wargraf. Oh, yes, we'll have that. I think. Yep, yeah, becomes much better armour, everything. Roderick. Alright, so we've come behind here, really, to get the... Um, the key, which we don't really need, to be quite honest. Uh, that's for crafting. Set that to homestead. Because by enter if we enter the wizard's house and we can actually enter the secret cave or secret cellar, sorry, that the wizard's servants are hiding in from the arch from the house itself. So. Uh, let's look at telescope. But that's just the void dragon, same as what we saw in the uh, end of time. So blah blah blah. Get rid of that. Oh, what's he spotted? What? Is it? Oh, where? Uh, didn't see that. Thank you. I'm overheating here. Just check all this stuff on the way through. You never know what you're going to find. I can go to the homestead. Whoops. As can they. Apples, we don't need those. I don't think there's anything else around here. We'll, we'll take Wolgraf around just in case. You never know, we might spot a mound. Mm. 
Alright, okay. No. Let's not go in that way, let's go in the back way, shall we? Don't want to the... Oh, damn it! That's why I didn't want to go in there. You fools. And that was the reason I wanted to go in the back way, but of course they ran where I didn't want them to, as they always do. Alright, check the body. Don't need that, that's just extra weight. Don't need that. I needed that. Into the fray once more. Right. Let us enter. Ah. On the mend. Pick up. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. All right, press that button, please. Right, um... Detach. Alright, let's get the, the, another heal going here. Because people are getting a bit round, low there. Sweet relief. Alright, in you come, Level my friend. I am restored. Into the fray once more. Mm. On the nope, no good. Immunity to fear 78. No. What else we got in here? Staff kit part 3. Sweet relief. Yes, please. Light gold cup. We'll have that. Back on my feet again. Staff kit part 3 goes to Medora. Is Scarlet using that one? Send that to Medora. Combine with... Oh. Needs more crafting ability. Alright, what have we got that's got crafting on it? Alright, equip. Combine. Combine. Ew. Yes, please. Put the ones back on. That's a scarlet one. Ooh, 131 to 232, but I lose intelligence. And don't actually hit anybody with the staff, so it's plus three. Hmm. Uh, it's level 20. Oh dear, well, yeah, we'll save that. <laughs> uh, we, won't be, we won't be doing anything with that at the moment. Right, Roderick. Check out these this place while we can. Zandalore scroll, we need that. Scroll of revelation. Not yet though. There must be something of some value hidden here. Yes, there is. What's that? Side powers.
Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> whoa, no, I don't want you to sit down either. There we go. Take that. And that. Not too much to carry. Great. Right, well, let's send all that to Midora. Check that. Nothing. Nothing. Right, we're just underneath now. I can go to Midora. That takes us down quite a bit. do for the time being. I'm going to put a little save in there in case anything goes awry as we're going uh, over here. What's that? The Divine. The Divine One's Return. Alright, nothing else there. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Right, here we go. Make a run for it. Come, 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 come. There we go. And a little save. Right, we'll graph. Detach. Damn it. Attach. Just the cure. Back on my feet again. I need to dry off. There we go. I'll put the fires out. Yeah, I'm dripping. Oh, we can take that. that go to Nora. What trickery? Oh, I needed that. And teleporter scroll, snook scroll, pyramid again. Go. Oops, one too far. Put it in the wrong place, that's why. Use. Wargraf grins and waves his magical quill triumphantly. This must be the very room he once stole it from. Oh. You know, in this case, I'm not sure to be angry with you for stealing, or glad you've got one over on the old dog who used to live here. I've got my eyes on the prize. Right. House defenses, master switch. Please turn ah, off. There we are. Thank House's you. House defenses should be off now. Should right, be that should be a book there. Wizard cellar key. Pick up. Pick up. Journal. Love that. Sorry about this, Dan the Lord. We're robbing you blind. Seven grant abundance. Oh, what have we got here then? 
Oh, magic ink pot and quill. We'll take that. I did the desk. Yes, I did. Secrets of the Source te Temple. We need that. Jewelry chest. Yes, please. There we go. Well, we need that for the Phantom Forest. So we'll take that. And I'm going to take loads of pouches as well. All extra storage space. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Modora, please take some of this for me. Thank you. Is that enough? Yeah. That's enough. Right, there's a chest there. Now if I go on to it, well, I might as well show you. Treasure, treasure on the ground. Who's the grandest dame in town? Uh, now it doesn't matter which one I pick here, it will what be incorrect. All three of those names are incorrect. What we need to do in this room is light all the candles. There we go. And that turns off the barriers inside. I suppose I could have done that first, saving the messing about. Titan Dictionary. Now that is the item I was mentioning before when I said we're going to the, the other temple. There's no point going until I had that. This will allow us to speak to the Titans or speak their language. Read. The ancient tongue sp spoken by the Titans of Rivalon. And didn't we get some another book or something from here? Wasn't Moradino? Wasn't Leandrus? Gods! Leandrus building an army in order to defeat Astarte and unleash the void! Our friends on the homestead will want to hear this right away. Now that we know exactly what she's doing, we've got the advantage over the so-called conduit. Oh, well that triggered that. Which is good. Um, was there anything else? That must have been it. That must have been what I was looking for. I'm very aware that I don't want to leave anything behind. Magical tragedies, we'll take that. Let's just check in here again. Light gold cup, okay. Did miss something. House defenses, master switch, right, okay. Alright, well, we can head downstairs now. Without triggering all that chaos that happens when you tread on that enormous activation plate, whatever it's called. Alright, okay. Click. Nothing. Thank you. <laughs> I think we need to be there to read the scroll. Zandalore's scroll, read. There we go. Alright, let's just check anything else here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Right, into the cellar. Experience, a lot of. take it we've already read it apparently but we'll take it we'll graph go in there and see if there's anything in there no 
Neil, I miss those though. Two enormous chests. Oh, let's just set that to the door as well, what the hell. Found that. I think I've missed something there. Or did I pick the key up somewhere else? Yes, I did. this really I could have picked up with my door and just instead of picking it up and sending it to her but that would be the easy way wouldn't it and I don't do anything the easy way bottle of water okay oh magical unlock scroll thank you that's a very nice haul they are very rare. Hail attack. You already know this. Alright, I think that's everything we can get from there. Shall we activate the portal? Yes, I think we're ready. Cheese, yes, please. Oh, the port. I didn't know it. Boo. Who are you? Stay away from my family. They know nothing of the wizard. Take me. Source hunter, my culture of video blood term. Believe I am one of them, but I'm on a mission to dismantle their bloody operation. A source hunter? Lodian, the gods have answered our prayers. I can think of no more welcome deliverer from this predicament than one of your esteemed order. Seven bless us, and you too. Are you the wizard's servants, the one that these invaders are so desperate to find? Aye, we three laboured under Zandalor's employ. He was right decent to us. And it's thanks to him we managed to escape the brutes upstairs. Sandalor prepared this hidden place long ago. It's almost as though he knew, somehow, that this day would come. Or perhaps he knew only that the forces of evil would always pursue those of goodness and light. Many years ago, he told us that if ever we found ourselves in danger, we should flee to this cellar. Shut fast its door, he said, and mark the jam with a chalk pentangle. This will call forth the magic I have assigned for your protection. It seems our friend was true to his word. Uh, what can you tell me about the wizard? Zandalore is a brilliant man, even among wizards. Why he chose to settle in this sleepy little town, I can't say. But then again, he never did remain for long. Always dashing off to attend to some matter or other, our wizard. We cared for his home while he was away and attended to him when he was in. We were quite fond of him. And I do believe he was rather fond of us, too. It seems that when we triggered this cellar's defences, he knew straight away. Within a minute or so, a strange orb of light appeared before us. It grew sharper and sharper about the edges. I held out my hands to grasp it, and it fell, heavy as a pearl, in my hands. From the orb came Zandalor's voice, clear and strong as though he were standing just before me. His voice was hurried, strained in a way I'd never heard before. And um, what did he say? Something unthinkable. That he was travelling through the Phantom Forest, that heart of horrors, and into the ancient source temple that rests within its cursed depths. He told us to wait for the White Witch, asked us to deliver a message, something important by the sound of it. We wrote it down, word for word, and will pass it along whenever it is she comes. I know the White Witch personally. You can entrust message to me. That ring! Ikara's blessing! 
Sandalore has the same. I'd recognize it anywhere. So the White Witch sent you, did she? I should have known she'd not sit idly by while the world turned topsy-turvy. Sandalore's message is as such. He's gone to the Source Temple in the Phantom Forest, and he wants her, or, or I suppose you, her messengers, to follow him there. In order to enter the forest, you'll need an amulet. He stored it in a small chest near his personal waypoint. Once you're inside the forest, you'll need to find the forest spirit. This spirit will give you the rune you need to enter the Source Temple. But first things first. If you want to get inside Zandalore's house, you'll need to use the portal in this very room. I've the crystal you need in order to activate it. Still, entering the house will be the least of your worries. Zandalore himself has called forth every manner of protection to discourage would-be intruders, and you will have to defeat them all in order to reach the bedroom. Now, the last thing he said doesn't make much sense to an outsider. Perhaps you or the witch will manage to make better sense of it. He said, and I quote, She is coming. I only hope I can reach the temple first. If she finds the portal... <sighs> he didn't finish after that. Uh, what can you tell me about the Source Temple? I know little more than its name implies, but if a Temple of Source does indeed rest within that blighted forest, a greater evil I cannot imagine. And what about the Phantom Forest? Many is the year since ghoul or beast has ventured out of the defiled sanctuary of those woods, yet still we of the village dare not enter. Legend says that to set a single foot into the Phantom Forest is to invite death's grasp. It's a legend none wish to test. As you may know, this town was founded as the last bulwark against the source monstrosities that reside within that terrible place. After the fall of Bracchus Rex, the defeated darkness retreated to those woods, and haunted they have remained ever since. I ought Before to you go, perhaps we might impose on you, well, a favor, you see. Source Hunter, we need a way out of this place. It's only a matter of time before the savages upstairs find us, and trying to leave through the village is as good as suicide. But Zandalor has his own means of travel, a waypoint shrine in his own chambers reserved for his personal use. If we could only get there, we'd be able to flee this place lickety-split. The only trouble is what I've already mentioned. The wizard's house is rigged from top to bottom. If you'll be disabling its defenses, we'll slip through without problem. Good luck, Source Hunter, and unimaginable thanks from me and mine. Okay, right. Well, what we want to do is just loot everything we can see. Uh, let's gotta go to Medora, as does that. Also, we've got a large healing portion, fire resistance, tomato, cheese, bread. I'll take the cheese. What the hell? And I'm encumbered again. Now that's the way we would have come in if we'd have come in through the uh, the boulder outside, which we haven't. We decided to take the easy way, <laughs> I think. Uh, yes, we are encumbered, so we need to remove some of this gear again. Jeez. I don't know what good that dress this head is doing. Uh, I was going to send that to that. How much did it weigh? One. Oh, it's not worth it. No, oh, that's not worth it either. They can all go to the homestead. Uh, we'll need to go and sell, I think, after the end of this episode. I'll sort it out from there. What about the cat? Can I speak to the cat? No. Oh, yeah, I can. Where am I? Am I... Is this real? Are you all right, cat? I... I feel as though I've been living in a dream. I was bathing myself, as I've done a million times over when suddenly a curious sensation came over me, as if my mind were no longer mine. I saw, but I did not see. 
I was as one possessed. I'll take my leave. Right, let's talk to them again. Where is she? There she is, mother. Our friend, how can we help you? Uh, let's discuss getting you out of this place. Oh, yes, let's. Have you cleared a path to Zandalore's shrine? We're so very eager to get out of this dank little hole. The way's clear. You're free to go. Great gods above! Ooh. That's fantastic news. I can nearly smell the fresh air already. Psst. Before we go, I might be able to offer you <coughs> a little tip. When I was cleaning the wizard's guest rooms, I'd often hear him whisper Ikara to a locked chest in his chamber. I can't say for certain what's in there, but perhaps it will help you on your journey. Thank you for your aid, my hero. I thank you for the info. Oh, where they go? And where we go? <laughs> They're just gone. Oh, right, little chest that we need. What's the last thing in the wizard's house? Treasure, think? treasure on the ground. Who's the grandest dame in town? Eh, hey, Kara. Oh, dear. What is it you like best about that lovely lady? The sweet cadence of her voice? Her fair grace? The whole package has impressed you, I do suppose. Hmm. Well chosen indeed. Walk in the shadows? I'll send that to Wolgrap. I think he's already got it. Take all this. Too much to carry. Yes, I know. Scarlet, yes. Ooh, no. Oh, are we getting some stuff we can't identify here? Luckily, we can put that on as well, can't we? That should increase it even more. There we go. It's no use to anybody, because we ain't using them. Strength 10, okay. That's a Medora. And so is that. And so is that. One oh six, two speed. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll have that. Two eleven? No. Air damage. 49. I love that. I'm going to leave that stuff on my door for the time being. Do we have that? Yes, we do, Roderick. So it's out 209, we nearly hit max again there. Right, so I think that will bring us to the end of this episode, folks. We have now completed the wizard's house, so I need to go and sell the uh, wizard's assistants. Where can I sell? Hang on a minute. Let's go to no, Silver Glen. Uh, the wizard servants have been saved. They've they've gone. So all we need to do now is follow the trail of blood in Hunter's Edge, and see if we can find proof that it was indeed the orcs that stole the bloodstones. And then we can initiate combat between the mountain men and the orcs. So we shall do that next episode, folks. Uh, don't forget if you do like the videos, leave me a like and subscribe. This is all grey, signing off. <laughs>